Dirk? What happened to you? Oh, uh, good morning, Anna. I was robbed, astoundingly, in broad daylight near the police station. A young man assaulted me, stole my wallet, and fled the scene. My belongings are everywhere, scattered, and in front of the police station of all places. How horrible. I'll help you collect your things. That would be a real help. That would be a real help. Great, I found some instructions. Thank you for your assistance, Anna. See you around. Oh, I forgot to give this paper back to Deer. What is this? One of these addresses is within walking distance. I'll go and see what I can find.
This alley must be the place. Manu, is that you? Wait! I'm not here to turn you in. I just want to talk. Okay, so talk, lady. Call me Anna. I'm very impressed with your lockpicking skills. How'd you find me? Hey, you got my notes. Oh, this belongs to you? It seems the expert pickpocket has trouble keeping items in his own pockets. Give it here. Here you are. You didn't see nothing. Manu, would you show me a few of your lockpicking tricks? <laughs> Lockpicking's too dirty a job for some snooty broad. You'd be surprised what a snooty broad is capable of. Okay, prove your worth. Open this lock. It's as easy as they get. Anna? That was nothing. Nothing, eh? Drop by any time, and I'll teach you something harder. It's a deal. Oh, about that wallet you stole today by the police station. Uh, what wallet? I don't know nothing about a wallet. Don't play dumb, Manu. You're not as good a liar as you think. Hand it over, and I won't tell Judith about this little misunderstanding. You're a mouthy broad, huh? Hard to argue with a mouthy broad. University debating champion. Two years running. Great. I found Dirk's wallet. I'll be seeing you, Manu. Come round to try your hand at some real lockpicking. This would be a great peace offering for you, Dit. How would anyone not love you? Oh, what a sweetie. How did you get here?
I bet you're hungry, aren't you? She loves you. She wasn't quarreling at all with me. You did this? I found her in a pet shop. Just look at those sad saucer eyes. Isn't she absolutely adorable? Cutest bribe I'll ever get. When she meows at you, she's really saying, Anna is sorry. Anna, you disobeyed my orders. I know. In my rush to get a scoop at all costs, I betrayed your trust. What I did was inexcusable. Haven't you ever had a male boss order you to do something... That goes against your principles all the time. Do I do it? Never. You get a second chance. But there won't be a third. Thank you. I promise I won't let you down. Yeah, well, thank Amy here. She convinced me. Amy, what a perfect name for a perfect little... Oh, I almost forgot. I got you a car. What? Ruben told me you have a collection of model cars. Do you already own this one? Molino 1C, a rare one. Where did you get it? It's just a little relic from my past. I'm happy to give it to a proper collector. Thanks. Okay, <clears throat> back to the case. Dierk has something new on Marie's death. Let's go to forensics. Judith and Anna, have you made up? Time will tell. Dear, I have something for you. Is this your wallet? Unbelievable. I'd already come to terms with losing it. Thank you. This is a great relief. You had Dirk's wallet. Why? Long story. Nothing serious, though, right? Yes, precisely. About the deceased, this discovery may interest you. Marie had sexual intercourse with a man less than an hour before her death. You're sure? Her bedroom didn't look like she kept much company. I'm absolutely certain. Also, you recall, Vanessa was sexually assaulted prior to her death. Vilma had sexual intercourse as well. Another link that connects these murders. Sexual assault and consensual sex are entirely different. Of course. All I'm saying is all the victims had sexual encounters of some kind. Have you even proved Marie was murdered, Jerk? Well, no. I'm not 100% certain. It could have been accidental. I found an unknown fingerprint at the scene. It's not in our files. Maybe it belongs to Natalie Meissner, whoever she is. Natalie is a retired district court judge. I interviewed her last night. And you didn't tell me? It's what brought me to the police station in the first place. She was the judge in a dispute between Marie and her employer, a fashion house. Do you think she's involved? I doubt it. But Natalie did show some animosity towards Marie. She immediately called Marie a liar. To be safe, we should get her fingerprints. Dierk, we're borrowing your fingerprint kit. It's on the table. All right, Anna, lead the way. Let's visit this judge. Let's visit this judge. Let's visit this judge.